Well, vacations, weddings, and other celebratory trips, they fill up our calendars during the summer. And now that you've enjoyed some time to travel and wind down, it is time to rebuild your savings so you can enjoy the upcoming holiday season. And to help us do that, we brought in our money man, Stephen Hughes. You're going to help us stack this money, get it back together, you know, as we're getting looking toward the new year and even to the holiday season. For sure, for sure. And even for next summer, because I know that people are going to want right. to travel then too. Exactly. All right, so first thing we're talking about, auditing your expenses. Yes, so... You know, you may have signed up for a TV streaming service or some type of subscription box um, for a trial mm -hmm. and it's been charging your card or your bank account every month. It's time to look through those expenses and see like what needs to get out of here. So take the last two months of your expenses from your checking account and just circle everything that you want to cancel, whether mm -hmm. it's a gym membership that you're not using or, uh, as I said, that subscription box that you really don't need anymore. <laughs> Some people are cringing. That's fine. <laughs> you gotta, That's, we got to do the work. <laughs> we got to let it go. <laughs> we got to so, do the work. <laughs> so that means you can't have HBO, Netflix, Hulu, that new Disney streaming service. <laughs> I mean, you you may you may be able to, but if you're not watching all of those services, right. like maybe you want to cut Hulu. Maybe if you're deep into this Disney Plus thing, <laughs> cut Hulu off and cut some of those other services off. Yes, very good tips. All right, next up, create a new account. Talk to us about that. Yeah, and um, when it comes to saving money, you want to separate your money, right? Mm -hmm inconvenience money gets saved. So if it's not mm -hmm. in your account, in your checking account, your main accounts, you'll be able to stack it a little bit easier. Mm -hmm. So open a checking account. And I say checking account so that you, if you have to pull money out of it for the yeah. holidays, it's not something that's uh, taxing you or getting a, a, incurring a fee. Mm -hmm. But um, open a checking account at a federal credit union or a no fee bank that you can just send money to, transfer money to, and just stack money there. That's so good. And then finally, make it a family affair. Yes. So when it comes to you setting your financial goal, of course, your goal is supposed to be relevant to you. But if you're a spouse or children in the household and you want everyone to get on board to help you hit this goal, make it a family affair. Help them set goals around your goal or even, you know, create one of those thermometer posters that you can fill out to say, hey, you guys, when we get to $2,000, we're going to have a pizza or a dance party. Just nothing that, make sure you reward yourself for hitting your financial yeah. goal, but nothing that'll be, you know, taking money out of your account after you work so hard to save it. That's so awesome. And I love the idea of everybody getting on board, having all the family members take part in this. I think it also makes it fun too. It does. It yeah. Does. Maybe yes. you can even like have like a fun little family competition or something like that. I'm down with competing to save money yeah. and invest money. <laughs> of course I like he that. is. I like that a lot. Words to our money man's <laughs> ears. He loves to hear that. All right, friend, thank you so much. Yes. Thanks all right. for having me. We're going to have all of this good information on our website, WLTX.com.